Hey, what's up guys? This is Willie D. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick tip on how to get the most out of your trekking poles. So, uh, you know, trekking poles are just like anything. It takes a little bit of practice to get the technique down. First of all, uh, before you practice, I would find a little straight, maybe flat stretch of trail like I have right here. And uh, I'm gonna do a couple walk-bys and just and just give you a couple tips. So the first thing is I'm gonna walk by without any trekking poles and just notice the motion of how my hands naturally go. Now what happens if you kind of analyze this, every time your left foot goes forward, your right hand is going forward and you naturally just kind of walk like that. Now the next step would be to take your trekking poles and make this shape with your hand and just grab onto the trekking pole like this. I'm not putting any pressure, just, just barely holding on to it. And then what you want to do is put the tips behind you and just walk and let them drag behind you. Don't do any work with the trekking poles, just let it naturally happen. So that would be like this. Now you notice that the trekking poles are at least a 45 degree angle pointing sharply backwards. When you dig the tip in and get that leverage, the point is never going in front of you. It's always either aligned with your foot or behind you. You want to be pushing back, not reaching out ahead of you. So again, let's grab onto the trekking pole loosely. And each time our hand goes forward, start putting a little pressure on the trekking pole and you feel that push off. So that'd be like this. Now, just to bring it all together, once you start holding onto the trekking pole a little tighter, and instead of dragging it forward, you will lift it up. But you have that same kind of motion, really feel that, that natural movement of your arms and hands first before you do the full motion. But this is what like a full, uh, you know, straight ahead, you know, getting power out of it would look like. So anyway, when you try that a couple times, honestly, uh, you start feeling like, imagine you're hiking and you don't have trekking poles. 50% of that hike is going on your right leg and 50% of that hike is going on your left leg. If you use trekking poles, especially up and down hills to take some of that pressure off your knees, think of it as like 25% of the hike going on each limb. So, you know, your legs take less stress, your arms get to do some of the work instead. And so basically what that means is you can hike more miles more comfortably. So anyways, I hope that uh, kind of easily describes on how you can kind of get in the groove of uh, using a trekking pole. And before you know it, you're really gonna feel like as soon as you dig those in, you'll feel like it's propelling you forward, like you have so much more power and you're using a lot less effort. Peace out. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Trekking pole height. You wanna set them up so your forearm is level.